The notion of being separate, me, you, the tree, the ocean, has led humans and humanity as a whole to endless conflict and confusion, bringing us environmental crises, wars, worldwide economic and political disorders. The mystics in all ages and cultures have clearly stated that the state of separateness, the sense of an individual I, is the main cause of human suffering. On the other hand, the Western scientific approach has been dominated by reductionism, which affirms this notion of separateness by looking into the smaller particles searching for the essence of matters and into the brain searching for the source of consciousness. Reductionism has been highly successful and have led to many major scientific breakthroughs, but the limitations of this approach have become more and more apparent. Is there a different way, a different approach that can help us to better understand life? Is there a way that goes beyond reductionism in understanding the underlying principle of all? This approach could look at the world as an integrated whole rather than a collection of separate parts. It may also be called ecological if the term ecological is used in a much broader and deeper sense than usual. This deeper ecological awareness recognizes the fundamental connection of all phenomena and the fact that as individuals and as societies we are all embedded in nature. We are embedded in life itself and furthermore we are it. We are not separate from it. And maybe the mystics are right when they say that there is only consciousness and everything arising and subsiding is an expression of the play of consciousness. This year, at the Science and Non-Duality Conference, we are inviting scientists, philosophers, mystics, artists, and you to explore what lies beyond the eye, what lies beyond the sense of separateness, and what are the portals to non-dual awareness. Come and play with us in the search of these answers, but please, be well aware that there is nobody searching and nothing to be found. See you in October.